Right now on Black Coffee, things are getting steamy. So I was tossing this girl salad last night, right? Oh yeah? Yeah, and in mid-toss, she gonna tell me I'm allergic to onions after I'd already put them in there. So now I had to reach up everything, including the head of the lettuce. That was a riveting story. Hey! Have you guys seen the tip jar? Ain't it on the counter? No, nah, man. Wait, somebody stole the tip jar. Allegedly. Oh, man, we're sleeping. Man, we can't have people up in here thinking they can steal from us. First the tip jar, then the spoons, the napkins, the, the toilet paper. Look, I'm pretty sure they would have hit the register first, Peter. No, we need to hire some security. Oh, I, I, I can do it. I used to work security. Travis had worked security before, but it was as an extra in a student film in college. Cut! Wow, have you worked security before? You're a natural. Oh, never have. <laughs> Couldn't tell. He literally has no experience doing security work. All right, if you want to do it, be my guest. Yes. You're here all the time. You might as well do some actual work. Yes. Easy. Salt. Now get out of my damn area. I got beans to grind. Yo, this guy's taking his security job way too seriously. Why is he dressed like a bodyguard? He's scaring all the customers. Scaring all the customers? What? Beecham can't stand the thought of losing customers. All he cares about is money. I mean, the guy watches videos of money falling on the internet. He's obsessed. But he doesn't need to worry. Travis told him if there's one thing he learned about being a security guard, it's to, to be, be seen, seen, but not heard. Which, unfortunately, he didn't get a key part of his job. So this is your first movie? Hey, quiet on the set! How much is the mic? Hey, quiet on the set, we're rolling! Travis would not stop talking on set. So eventually, the director told him, I need you to be seen, not, not heard, heard, okay? But Travis knows better than to scare off the customers. Go! Go, you ain't paid for nothing. You've been here. If you didn't get her number by now, you ain't gonna get it. What are you talking about? This is my man. Oh, you think you man your way out of here? That's sure. coffee, by the way. Get out! Get out! Hey, I'm going, man. Dang. Tra yeah. Hold on, Travis! What are you doing? Wait, security. Security. All right, look, this is a little too intense, man. You scam people away. Okay. You're supposed to let them stay in here and not leave. Travis knew exactly what he meant. Not me. Excuse me. Excuse me. me. Nah, I can't excuse you. you. New policy. Come man, on, where's bro? the manager? The studio. What studio? You ain't making no song looking like that. I'm a painter. Please, my Uber is with you. Please speak phone. English. Am I not speaking English? Yo, what you spit in my face? I mean, slow your walk. Where you going? Yo, what are you doing? I'm on my lunch break, fool. Man, you can eat here, fool. I heard the juices are amazing, brother. Man. Hey, man. Travis, on, man. what are you doing? Let these people out. You literally told me not to let no one leave. How did, when did I say that? You're supposed to let them stay in here and not leave. Hey, man, you must have misunderstood me, man. Look, crimes are more likely to happen at night, okay? Why don't you take the day off, come back at night, work the door, let people in and out, cool? Nah, that I can do. Uh... Yeah, the ladies are awesome. Really? Hey, come on, ladies, come on, ladies. Come, come in, come on, ladies. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. hold on, you take your ID. You look kind of young. Oh, you can, you can. Oh, you're okay. I'm just trying to get some coffee. Oh. Well, would you look at that? Travis is actually doing security work, but I wonder what Beecham would think. Hold on, what is all of this? Yeah. Go ahead, go ahead and get hey, inside. Hey, hey, oh, wait, oh, 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 like that? Okay, all right. Good? You good? I'm good. You good? No, you good. I'm good. You good? You good? I'm good. All right, good. Wait, wait, Beecham, what are you doing? What do you mean? What am I doing, man? And where your girls at? What? No, this is not what I told you to do. Go ahead, get inside, man. Get some coffee, man. Get some coffee. Spend a lot of money, man. This is crazy. Man, I thought you said you wanted me to work the door at night. I did say I want you to work the door at night. Not turn this into a damn nightclub. This is, man, let me holler at you, man. Come on. What were you thinking? I don't know. I feel like I'm missing my youth, man. I'm missing my youth, man. That's your excuse? I mean, I, working with all these juiceries and uh, owning these businesses can be stressful. Bouncing was easy. Look at him. The dude's mindless. You're a business owner now. A black business owner at that. There's no excuse. You got kids looking up to you. Yeah, man, you're right, man. You're right. Yeah, Beecham is right. And it looks like Travis learned a valuable lesson. He's gonna start taking being a business owner more seriously and be a good role model for the community. It's great to see his growth. All right, I'm gonna go back inside. There's some girls in there I wanna holler at. Travis. What's up, baby? We live life once, man. Well, kind of.